when the uh, suspect tries to seduce the detective. So basically, she's just trying. She's just basically going to try to risk her up. Um, bro, she's going to try to risk the detective up. I think she's going to feel terribly. I'm not going to hold you. It already looks like her as you know what I'm saying, got the hairstyle off of a fucking Stevie Wonder addict. So we're going to see what happens. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. She's going to fail terribly. I can tell. I can tell. Um, Pixel, thank you for 100 bits. Let me see. Yeah, how long you guys been married? He didn't tell me what he was going to do because I don't know the severity of it. I'm just scared. This is Amelia Bassoon attempting to seduce the detectives to get away with murder. Amelia was arrested in connection with the murders of Cindy and Sean Stack. They think she helped her husband cover up the crime, but she will do everything she can to get away with it, including flirting with the detectives. But while this case started in a playful manner, it quickly evolved into one of the most intense interrogations of all time. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty bold claim set of all time. Like we gonna we gonna see we gonna see her skills or how if she got the game like that. They're both dead. I didn't do anything. The detective starts. That seemed like. <laughs> Yo. It, uh, now, I'm not no detective or anything, but that just seemed like. That just seemed like the worst lie. Like, she has to be the worst liar of all time. My one of the most intense interviews. Of acting? Of all Is this a real video, bro? Time. They're dead. They're both dead. I didn't do anything. The det that was the worst lie I think I've ever. <laughs> I didn't do anything like this, no way, bro. Detective starts by reading Amelia her rights and getting some basic information. Am I like getting arrested or something for something? Or? I'm gonna explain it to you. Yeah, explain it to you. Oh, okay. Just normally this starts as like someone getting in trouble or arrested or something. Well, we just, like I said, we want to be able to talk to you. Already, it's obvious that Amelia is making her voice high pitched and speaking in a timid tone of voice. While this could just be what she sounds like normally, other footage of her suggests otherwise. I, I don't want to press charges, but I, I would like a no contact order. I can do that. Okay. Her change in tone could also be a mm, reaction she, to She's talking like, like in a more like, you know what I'm saying, like lighter type voice so she can like... Kind of, in a stressful and this uncomfortable part? situation. But as the interrogation continues, she begins to show more and more of these flirtatious signs. What happened with Josh? Did you say that... Did I hear you say he shot himself in the leg? Yeah, so in December, he, um, we went bowling. Okay. The bullet went around the bone and around the artery. Wow. Through and through. Jeez, that's lucky. I know, he's crazy. <laughs> Hello, you guys been there? Oh, you see that? You see that, chat? You see that? She, 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 what the fuck? I see Wendy's gave $30. Let me give 31 Thank you for thank you for the thirty one dollars. Then he just he just he just don't don't be trying to get in competition with Wendy's. He's sanctioned. Um, tell me this. Oh. <laughs> Yo, chill. Tell me this bitch don't look like Yusuf. Chill. You need a joke. Chill, bro. Chill. Yo, stop playing with Yusuf like that. Oh boy, not one of these videos. Mac, this video is called When the Suspect Tries to Seduce the Detective. Y'all see the hair flick though? Y'all see the casual hair flick? Women will do that, bro. Women would women well, some women would do that. All, all women. Some women would do that, bro. They do like the casual playing with the hair, hair flick type shit. But she's doing this to a detective, bro. Like Chill. Chill, bro. Eat my nuts, G. <laughs> Wendy's with the big 50, yo, Wendy's, relax, bro, you've given enough, no, actually, Wendy, you can actually chill, bro, you're giving, like, 90 plus the 50 plus the 10, get the, you can actually relax, bro, thank you, Wendy's, yo, that's a W fucking man's right there, I don't know why he shows so much love in the streams, but he just does, like, that nigga's just really Mr. Beast. Um, it'll be a year in September. Oh, okay. Here, Amelia gathers her hair and moves it all to the right-hand side, exposing her neck on the left. The neck carries the jugular, an important and vulnerable part of the body that- CHILL! Y'all niggas need to chill. Stop! Oh, yeah, yeah. Right now. Yo, okay, look. Y'all are versus both working class men, right? Y'all don't have that. Like, y'all y'all, y'all couldn't relax, bro. Like, y'all don't have to compete with each other, bro. I don't like where this is going. I'm not going to Like, y'all niggas don't have to go ban for banning the donos right now. It's the last, like, video to stream. Y'all don't got to go crazy like this. You know what I'm saying? 
Zex, thank you for a 51, though. Nonetheless, I'm not going to act like I don't fuck with it, though. Thank you for the 51, though. You know what I'm saying? And Wendy's, thank you for the 50. Like, y'all are amazing, bro. I, I, I love y'all. Thank y'all, bro. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, bro. Millionaire versus millionaire. Like, God damn, these niggas be going wild. I'm not going to lose you. Thank you, bro. Bro, I don't earn an average daily paycheck. Yo, thank you, bro. Um, Both of y'all. Okay. What were they saying about the neck, though? Went around the bone and around the artery. Wow. Through and through. Jeez. That's lucky. I know. He's crazy. <laughs> How long you guys been married? Um, it'll be a year in September. Oh, okay. Lana, you can get that here, much. Here, Amelia gathers her hair and moves it all to the right hand side, exposing her neck on the left. The neck carries the jugular, an important and vulnerable part of the body that many people will make an effort to protect. However, when someone feels comfortable or really or safe around someone, they're likely to expose their neck by tilting their head. Really? I, well, I guess that's scientific. I really, I never knew that. So, like, if I'm like, if I'm like, hey, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna start doing these. Never heard of it. I'm gonna start doing these. I'm gonna start doing like, don't believe the narrative, y'all. I'm poor. How how many times? How much are y'all gonna let Lana lie to y'all, bro? Lana be really lying to y'all, bro. She literally left my uh the crib in a fucking Ferrari. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, man, what the hell is he talking about? I don't know. This is apparently science, bro. This nigga, uh, look like J.D. Avocado. <laughs> is that why that nigga do be doing these? Like, he be, like, he be doing them. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I need to start doing that. That's, that's, that's some, that's a different type of thing. At all or safe around someone, they're likely to expose their neck by tilting their head or moving their hair to the side, suggesting attraction or at least the desire to show it. All right, so the reason, I'll ban you. reason why we're here today mm -hmm. is because of that issue with the bank. Okay. okay. All right. Does that surprise you? Um, for this type of situation, yeah. Okay. Like this intense. I mean, I got in trouble at work, which. Makes sense, but I'm just confused. Bitch, we don't care well, about your life story. Let's walk through it a little bit, okay? Um, let's okay. walk through that and see how maybe we came here today, all right, and find out if this was just a misunderstanding. Okay, this about it, because nah, this is really like, we won't watch the video, don't get it to it. Wendy's with another 52. Wendy's, chill. Nigga, you already asserted your dominance. That nigga Zex is like, is not instigating. Yo. Yo, Wendy's, relax, bro. Y'all need y'all. Okay, y'all going ban for ban literally in the donos. Y'all gotta chill, bro. This is like the last video of this stream, bro. Lana, grow the fuck up. How old are you acting like this, my nigga? Grow the fuck up, bro. You know you dead wrong for this too, my nigga. Yo, Wendy's, you just you went crazy tonight, bro. I think you already asserted your dominance. You've given the most tonight out of anybody. So like, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Love and Zex, thank you too. Thank you too. And see. Well, let's let's walk through it a little bit, okay? Um, let's walk through that and see how maybe we came here today, all right, and find out if this was just a misunderstanding or what, okay? The story ended with Cindy and Sean dead, but started with an equally disgusting crime. Amelia was an employee at Chase Bank mm. and exploited her position to steal fifty thousand mm. dollars from a dementia-ridden man. Wow, Amelia never broke again. That's tough. NBA Amelia, bro. That's tough. That's you gotta be a shitty ass human being, bro. I'll be telling y'all, bro, some of y'all not gonna make it because y'all use like okay, people will chat in this life, people will use their looks to get up on you. It's a fact, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why you always of course looks matter, of course, because you're attracted to the person, but don't try to base somebody, don't trust somebody just off looks. So you remember we was watching that one criminal video, that one tub video where that girl like ran somebody over because she was drunk and all y'all was saying, some of y'all in chat were like, Oh, she's good, she's pretty, free her, she's pretty. She's pretty. I don't care if she ran somebody over and killed somebody and ruined somebody's whole family ship. She's pretty. You know what I'm saying? That's mostly what all y'all niggas care about. So some of y'all not gonna make it. I'm not gonna hold you. But literally, because she's pretty, she the prettiest people will literally scam you. I ain't gonna hold you. That's 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 messed up. I'm not gonna care. I'm not gonna hold you. Look at the Donos leaderboard. There is no Donos leaderboard. There is no Donos leaderboard. You know what I'm saying? The Donos are just the Donos. Uh, there's only uh the bits and the um get the leaderboard and the sub leaderboard. And she wrote two disgusting crime. Amelia was an employee at Chase I'm pretty sure Bank Wendy's is up there. And exploited her position to steal 50. Don't say it. 
in a trap, but booty nigga. She get the movie shit like animation. Hell yeah. Sex. Sex. So fifty five. Bro. I was actually listening to us. <laughs> Yo, you just gotta get raw shut up, nigga. Yo. What the f is going on? And why are you saying Alana so many wise, nigga? What the f is going on? It's your turn, Wendy. Keep the band war going. Nigga, stop instigating these niggas, bro. Yo, y'all niggas, okay, look, 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 look. I'm not gonna act like y'all niggas not blessing a nigga right now, but like, I really want y'all to understand, y'all don't have to give me shit right now, bro. Like, it's really, it's really a, a blessing. We hit 200K, it's a good night. There's 675 of us in here, and it's 133 on a fucking Thursday. Y'all really don't have to give me shit. It's most appreciated, but like, just like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't, y'all really don't have to give me shit, especially this late at the end of the stream, so. Thank y'all both a lot. Like, I appreciate it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But, like, y'all niggas be working too hard you for that. You have to go band for band. You don't have to, y'all don't have to do shit, bro. I need still got my gamer package. I know most of the people got they shit. Ready. I got my shit. My shit came, came to my house. Uh, I don't know if it ships to Canada. I, I, I don't know if they, they go to Canada or not. But I think they do. But if it does, it might take a little bit while, uh, a little bit longer. By the way, y'all having wildfires out there. So, your mail probably got burned or something. I don't know thousand dollars from a dementia ridden man she wrote two checks from his account and her husband josh deposited them in his accounts when cindy and sean started asking questions josh purchased a gun and shot the pair in their own apartment this interrogation is not only to uncover the details behind the theft but also to determine what part she played in the killing so how did you what happened with this write-up so i mean had you been a banker for him for a while i mean yeah so i've been his banker since i moved here so, so what happened with these checks? Um, she scammed them. Nothing. You just that I should she call them. Have that record over all the security. Mm -hmm. So when they came in, they pulled like car logs, they pulled like cameras, just to make sure like Riot well, signature good. files. Because I mean, it's still federal. It's the bank. So mm -hmm. they wanted to make sure that I wasn't like, I guess, stealing. Mm -hmm. She was. When you talk to Gerald, I mean, how, how did he uh, appear? Let me see. Is he a young guy, old guy? Old. Oh, how did he appear to you when you talked to him? He's okay. He was okay. Yeah. Do you ever have any issues when he when he talked? Y'all see how he's talking like that, bro? He's okay. Yeah, bro. Why do I don't know? Some girls like why do some girls talk like that? Like Yoki, their voice be like this. He be like, okay, hey, <laughs> like like why why some girls talk like that, nigga? You not you not this not a game, bro. No, remember my favorite low income streamer. Okay. Thank you, bro. Do you ever have any issues when he when you talk to him about remembering things or anything like that? Like I know like a little about himself, like mm -hmm. he had brain surgery. Mm -hmm. Um, but for the most part, he remembers things. I don't think he forgets really. He just other than that, he's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, nice guy. Amelia does her best to seem open and honest here, but as soon as she finishes up talking, she brings her shoulders up, hunches over slightly, and crosses her arms. All movements that are done to protect vital parts of the body and are obvious tells that someone feels uncomfortable. Yeah, I can tell she she does she does look uncomfortable as shit though. She does she does look like a fing linebacker right now with them shoulders, but I I, I can feel that. Only become more apparent as the interview continues. What did he have you do? Like how did he what did he ask for? Mm -hmm. Nothing is just to you. Okay, for real. I don't need it right now though, but like thank you for telling me. Mm -hmm. And that was it. The grandson came to the grandson came and picked him up? Mm -hmm. It was either the day before or the day after. Mm -hmm. I opened up an account for him. Oh, so he must have just deposited those checks into the account? Um, I, think. I think your best bet right now is to be completely honest with us, okay? okay. So let me, let me, let's go on a little bit more, okay? The truth is going to be the best thing right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. This happened in May? Mm -hmm. My write up for work in May. Is the account still open? The grandfather? Mm mm. Mm mm. No? Amelia's speech has become much shorter and unclear, and she continues. By the way, this is probably the worst lie I've ever seen in my fucking life. I think anybody with fucking half a synapse in their brain can like deduce the fact that she is lying badly. Like, mm mm, mm mm. No, like this. I don't even. I don't think that you have to be a detective to like see that she's lying. 
continues to seem more and more uncomfortable when pressured about Gerald's oh, banking the top records. One? I bet he of is. Of course, the detective has noticed this and is seen. Right, by the way, none of this money is for you. I want all of it to go to Lana. <laughs> no, you Riz. <laughs> Dodo Riz is crazy. <laughs> There's no way this nigga just shot his shot through Dodos. W Riz, is that W Riz chat? Is that W Riz? Is that W Riz? Game is game. Is that W Riz? Zach, I want you to know, she, she don't want crush. you, nigga. <laughs> she don't want you, nigga. Yo, that nigga sex is funny as shit, bro. Bro, she is. I'm not gonna hold you. I, it's honestly, bro, I'm not even hating on it, bro. I'm not even. I, I, I kind of low key respect it. Bro, shooting his shot through Dodos is crazy. I've never seen somebody shoot their shot through Dodos. Bro, bro, because first of all, bro showed the 50. He's like, yeah, I got that shit. 50 and 50, another 50. He said to really show that he got that shit, and then he shot his shot. I can respect that. I can respect that. I'm not gonna hold you. I wasn't familiar with his game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's actually hilarious. I'm about to go Um, BG Soggy, thank you for the two months. Nigga said, oh, this this not this not for this not for you, this for Lana. Like, nigga. Signed up, signed up. Oh, shit, that nigga's funny. I'm not even hating on the methods. I'm not even hating on the methods, bro. Being Gerald's bear and unclear, and she continues to seem more and more uncomfortable when pressured about Wendy's thank you for the dollar. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. This dollar all for you. We can go to McDonald's together after stream. Oh, for real? Yeah, we can go. We can go. We can go. Gerald's banking records. Of course, the detective has noticed this and is seeing straight through her original timid and playful demeanor. So he decides to ramp up the pressure. Mm -hmm. Listen, okay. at a certain point in time, you have to move past it, all right? Mm -hmm. He's a nice guy, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you really do care about him. I do. Do you see now? Mm -hmm. But it's not like I, I don't want to uh, make it. Uh, okay. Mm -mm. No. You probably that pressure. Did you take advantage of that old man? I don't want to say I took advantage of him because he's a really nice guy. Yeah. And uh, Josh, mm -hmm. did he ever talk to them? No. He never spoke to them. He doesn't even know who they are. Okay. What have you been at their house? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he's a really nice guy. Yeah. And, uh, Josh, mm -hmm. did he ever talk to them? No, he never spoke to them. He doesn't even know who they are. Mm -hmm. What, have you been at their house? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. He doesn't even know where they live. I don't even know where they live. Well, you have access to his account. Are yeah, ours expected right? to vote a hater? Yeah, but I don't remember his address. Can you talk to Cindy? Mm -hmm. Possible she gave you their address? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be in the text messages? But you don't remember if she gave you the address or not. She never did. Too. Oh, by the way, plug. Don't plug. I don't know if I want you to touch this video, but touch that. Plug, touch that. Touch, the, touch that little section right there. Plug, touch that. You have to touch that. No reason to. It's possible Josh went over there and you didn't know? I mean, how would he know where they live, though? Um, that's not the question I was asking. Is it possible that he went over there? Not going to lie, Ryan. Next uh, stream, you got to give me my chance to shoot my shot with Pro. Are y'all niggas dead ass right now? Y'all just see the women in BBG and just like. <laughs> right, let me mention one weird thing. Oh my god, Zex. We gotta watch the video, my nigga. Hold on. Let me see. And, and Roshi Cardi Ross wants Pro. I'm telling Pro you want her. Yo. So do one more thing. Do one more thing. Do one more thing. I do want to say uh, I'm a Jamaican, so I can cook some mean, mean rice and peas. I Thank you, Zex. Um. <laughs> Like, god damn, bro. Yoshikage Ross. To be fair, though, Yoshikage Ross and Zex are, like, one of the few adults in this stream, like, actually grown-ass niggas. So, Yoshikage Ross, oh, I got you. I'll talk to Pro for you. I'll talk to Pro for you. I want to shot my shot with Jade. Yeah. Uh, isn't Pro, like, 16 Pro's a grown-ass woman? What are you talking about? Pro's in college. Um. Not that I, I mean, how would he know where he's into? Yeah, yeah, you are, too. Josh went over there and you didn't know. I mean, how would he you heard you heard him, Jay. I'm just not the question I was asking. Is it possible that he went over there? Not that I know. No. So you don't, you can't say for sure he did or didn't. I can say no. How to can my you knowledge? say no? Because he doesn't know where they, he doesn't know them. 
Amelia now decides to change strategies. Instead of her original flirtatious and playful demeanor, she switched to an innocent and clueless one. At points, she even smiles and laughs while being asked serious questions in an attempt to downplay the intensity and pressure. This is a sign that the facade she's put up is starting to break, and the detective takes this as an opportunity to press her even well, further. Because I don't know if you really do, mm. all right? And I think you need to start understanding that how this interview goes and where, what you know, what decisions you make here are going to affect your life for a long, long, long time. I think you think that you had this all planned out, and I think you. And again, not saying it. Basically, telling her she's she's not. Shit. Basically, telling her you're not. Shit. A bad way, but this is what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, when we make mistakes, we figure things out and go. Okay, all right. There's a lot more going on here. All right, and you know whose name is all over this right now? You and Joshua. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to start thinking real hard and real fast, okay? Who who is involved in this and what happened, okay? okay. That's all I know. Okay. Things got out of hand, okay? This got out of hand. I think what happened was Cindy was asking you for this money back and you didn't have it. And there's there's some issues there, okay? Sometimes, again, when we make a mistake, we do something wrong and things the ball gets rolling and we can't stop it. You understand yeah. what I'm saying, okay? Listen, you have your whole life ahead of you. I know. You have a seven-year-old son. She has a seven-year-old son? Is she trying? Is she flirting like a fucking like newly eighteen year old? What's wrong with you, my nigga? It's him. Mm -hmm. So, whatever happened beyond this, we need to know because if if you want to keep going with what you're telling us, okay, mm -hmm. then we're gonna have to go on that. All right, and you have to understand. Yeah. Okay. okay. So somebody did something, we need to know now. Talking about her son obviously strikes a chord with Amelia, and as interrogations are all about exploiting emotions to extract the truth, the detective jumps on this to make her as vulnerable as possible. Did Josh put you up to this? Mm. No. Well, snitch, this is the stuff snitch. we need to know. Listen, if he put you up to it, he put you up to it, that's okay. Again, like Detective Murray, she said, I, I think you're kind of at this crossroads right now, okay? You've got Josh, who you probably bag. love, and he's your husband, okay? But you also have Julian. And you gotta picture that little boy, you gotta picture not being able to watch him grow up. Mm. Think about that for a second. Mm. Think about being put somewhere very far away from him, and the only way you're gonna have contact with him is through letters. You're gonna get pictures in jail, in prison, of your little boy growing up. Damn. That's your future. I don't know what he did. What did he do? Uh. But he. She snitching. She folded. She just like me for real. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, but it, he would have had to put like some like McDonald's fries in my face and I would have snitched. But like she snitched uh, just off that. So I mean that's tough. W fold. W fold. We like to see that shit to be honest. I mean he knows the relationship that I have with Mr. Stack. He knows that. I mean I would take him food. Like listen to me. So at a point it would it would he would get upset with me that like I'm too nice that I like I can't kind of act with my customers. But he's. Well, the old guy, he has no family. Well, I mean, I so you scammed an old nigga with no family? That's even worse. That's that's horrible. <laughs> that's terrible. I talked to him because he knows my husband. I talked to him. Did Josh say that you 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 kind of were owed this money because you were taking care of this guy? I don't know if he said that, but something like that. Can you please unban Young Trap or fifteen? I didn't know. I don't want to get in trouble. I didn't do anything. Okay. We need to know. Well, then tell us, okay? <laughs> tell us. They're both dead. Mm. What? Yeah, they're dead. So now we really need to talk. At this point, all of the games that Amelia was playing have gone out the window. Whether she's innocent or not, she's now being a. She's not innocent. I'm not going. She's probably one of the worst liars I've ever seen. Anyways, oh, uh, hold on. What Lana say? Lana says. Anyways, I really do have to go to sleep. I said we have work in the morning. There's a W stream. His ex and Wendy's went crazy with your donuts. We could just get guys in the room. Hey, w Lana in the chat. Everybody say goodnight to Lana. Lana, thank you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? Um, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Everybody tell Lana goodnight. Everybody say goodnight to Lana. Um, but his ex, good attempt though. Good attempt. That was, it, it, it was, it was, I actually, that was actually pretty funny. I'm not going to hold you. All right. Uh, let's continue. Accused of aiding a murderer and is faced with losing her job, house, and a seven-year-old son. So understandably she's starting to get incredibly scared i do not want to go to jail i don't i don't like if i get fired okay let me get fired at work but i don't want to go to jail i didn't do anything i didn't i didn't plan it
Zach, she don't, she don't mean that. Zach, she didn't, she, she didn't mean it like that. Zach, she didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Zach, she didn't, she didn't mean it like that. Zach, she didn't mean it like that. <laughs> when I was sad, Zach, she didn't. Zach, she didn't mean it like that. She didn't mean it like that. He crying. Zach, I sure she, she didn't mean it like that, yo. Focus on. <laughs> okay, in a bit, nigga said, focus on yourself. Yo, Zach, she ain't mean it like that. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, stop. I was saying the attempt was great. I didn't mean it like that. Zach, she, no, no, she ain't mean it like that. Lana's okay. Lana, you can go to sleep. Like, no, she, 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 it wasn't like that. All right. The joy votes here in the chat. Y'all ga gassing it. Y'all gassing it. Oh, shit. Yo. Oh, shit. Um, it was genuinely a great attempt. Is that they they <laughs> don't worry? I'll talk to her about playing Overwatch or Valorant together later. I I respect it. I respect the shot. I respect the shot. Like I said, focus on just... <laughs> Alright, good night, Lotto, bro. Good night, man. Alright. Um We all knew that this was gonna happen, Zach shouldn't be surprised. Y'all are L y'all know y'all L men. Y'all L men, I'm not gonna hold you, my nigga. Y'all L men, bro. Y'all L men for that too. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all L men for that. I ain't gonna hold you. He's like, why you on? Yeah, why he on his dick? <laughs> Y'all L men for that. I ain't gonna lie. I need Faced with losing her job, house, and a seven-year-old son, so understandably, she's starting to get incredibly scared. I do not want to go to jail. I don't. I don't. Like, if I get fired, okay, let me get fired at work, but I don't want to go to jail. You scammed a, I didn't a man do out anything. of 50K. I didn't, I didn't plan anything. I didn't conspire anything. Stop. Just, I didn't do anything. I don't want to go to jail. From here, the detectives try to capitalize on this, using her vulnerable state you to try and extract stream. as much information as possible from her. But Amelia asserts that she's only told the truth throughout the entire interrogation. She didn't know Cindy and Sean were dead, and she had nothing to do with their murders. But here is where the interrogation takes a massive turn. These detectives have now been talking to her for over- Was a good person. She still don't want you, though, nigga. <laughs> but she a good person, though. All right, um, let's finish out this video, though. Thing I didn't conspire anything. Just I didn't do anything. I don't well, want to go to jail. From here, the detectives try to capitalize on this, using her vulnerable state to try and extract as much information as possible from her. But Amelia asserts that she's only told the truth throughout the entire interrogation. She didn't know Cindy and Sean were dead, and she had nothing to do with their murders. But here is where the interrogation takes a massive turn. These detectives have now been talking to her for over two hours, and they've executed this style of interrogation almost perfectly. But for the last few hours, they've just been going around in circles to no avail. So instead, they leave the room to discuss a new approach. And that's when detective number three enters with blankets and a kind, okay. apologetic like tone. Mm, they turn you on. Here come the real shot. Here this come the best. Nothing. Wait till you see it in a thong. Sexy E. He ate my coochie and I cracked him to my song. Sexy E. Bitches trying to hide their ratchet pussy. Ho. We all groan. Why the woman looked like she was born in a whitewashed Mexican restaurant.
perfectly. But for the last few hours, they've just been going around in circles to no avail. So instead, they leave the room to discuss a new approach. And that's when Detective Number 3 enters with blankets and a kind, apologetic tone. Hey, you need to talk. You need to get off from underneath this big time. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you who they work for? Mm. Yeah, we're homicide detectives, so. No. And you, they want you to be a witness, not a suspect. And that's why I want to talk to them, because I, I just don't want to be involved in any of this. Like, okay. I don't want any part of this. I want to be able to go home. Okay. Yes. Entering like this after such a stressful experience with the other detectives will set Amelia's mind at ease and subconsciously enforce the idea that he isn't a threat. At the start of the interrogation, she won't, she won't try to escape go through this nigga now because the nigga's been playing good cop. Amelia was trying to seduce the detectives in an attempt to get better treatment and hopefully even a lighter sentence. So if the third detective plays into this by treating her kindly and playing her game, maybe y'all think she about to give him the gawk or no? I think nigga getting got caught 3,000 if you play into enough or no? Sorry. 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 Definitely is, though. Sorry. He'll have a chance of finding out what really happened. In these cases, you can't lie. Mm -hmm. You can't, which, which means holding something back, mm -hmm. telling a partial truth, mm -hmm. or just flat out lying. Mac, mm -hmm. you're pushing 50. That is accessory. You're protecting someone. And I'm telling you right now, you don't need to do that. If you know what happened, tell him. Did he tell you what he did? Don't you have to say anything? No, he just told me if you say anything, then. Okay. Like, if you. Because, I mean, I'm not stupid. Okay, but eventually he told you what happened. No, he didn't tell me that he killed anybody. Or that he was going. But you know that he was going over there. I knew that he was going over there. Yeah. What day? He told me, he's like, he's like, don't worry about what I'm doing. I'll take care of it. Talking yes. about them, though. I'm guessing so, because that's just what he keeps saying. Yeah, yeah. Your importance is in details, not in vagueness. They told me I'm going to jail regardless. Well, I to be fair, bitch, you are going to jail regardless. I'm not going to hold you. And I can guarantee, almost guarantee it, my nigga. You are a terrible liar, a terrible Florida. You have absolutely no game at all. I'm not going to hold you. I've seen more game than out of fucking Super Mario Kart fucking 64 game, my nigga. And I'm not going to hold you. Overall, everything about you is terrible. And you got a fucking son at home, my nigga. Like, tighten up. Tighten up. She's not. She's not. She's going to jail, bro. She, she, she's going to jail. And she's fucking obstructing fucking this investigation just say what you gotta go say bro oh shit part made in vagueness they told me i'm going to jail regardless well i that the the uh, the fraud part may be but that's that's nothing that is the frauds <laughs> yo can, is that allowed the nigga said yo for fraud you good bro like that's that ain't nothing you get like a slap on the wrist nigga maybe like a month in prison like that's that's not really nothing like that, bro. But like, you don't want to get that that hit with that that uh, 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 accomplice charge or, or that murder charge. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a fraud. You just came to my other 50k, bro. Like, that ain't nothing for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. You might as well commit everything at this point. Like, nigga, come on, bro. Nothing compared to these charges yeah. for first degree murder. If I say, to be honest, he's not wrong, though. If you don't say any of these things. But he's acting like you you going to jail for like a month of fraud. That is cat, nigga. You're definitely going to get in trouble. But that, that's, this is where I'm scared. If I say these things, like, I, I didn't do any of this. Put it this way. If you protect him and you don't tell us everything, okay. then you're part of the crime. Amelia is now met with a harsh dilemma. She has to either gamble that the detectives never connect her to the crime and face felony charges herself or fess up and snitch to the police, likely sending her husband to jail for the rest of his life. This is her I'm last snitching. chance to make the you right snitching? decision or she'll never see her son again. Can we start over from the beginning? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I let her know she wanted to know. She went with her dad to the bank and she looked at the transaction history and she wanted to know what the checks were. So I can't tell her much. And then he's over my shoulder listening to my conversations with her. And he's just like, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. He just wasn't having it. He didn't want me to talk to her. He didn't want me to contact her. And who are we talking about her? Um, the guy's you, daughter. You know her name? Cindy. Cindy. She's on the car. Cindy. And he knew who Cindy was? Um, only because of the conversations that me and her were having. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. The next day he went and he bought a gun. I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday. He called out of work. He said that I'm going to take care of things. The next day he just, he comes home. And he's like banging on the door. Mm. 
This is like the, the, where the apartment or the house where we we were at today. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> he came banging on the door. Um, when he came home, he took the gun apart. Damn. He was shaking. Damn. Um, he took all. She put an adjective too, saying telling this nigga was shaking. She's telling everything now. Clothes off. Mm. He put it in a garbage bag, and then he went by his mom and dad's house. Mm. Okay. Um, when did you become aware that he was involved in the murder? Well, I didn't know what what happened. I just stopped hearing from her. And then when I said something about, can I call her? He told me no. And then he got really mad at me. And he was like, if you say something, I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. That's a DC. Now she snitching on shit. She don't even got a snitch for my nigga. Like, yeah, yo, okay, okay. I respect it. Well, I didn't know what. Um, when did you become aware that he was involved in the murder? Well, I didn't know what, what happened. I just stopped hearing from her. And then when I said something about, can I call her? He told me no. And then he got really mad at me. And he was like, if you say something, I'm going to kill you. Okay, he's not going to say that unless he told you about the murder. That's the part that's, that's, so when, when did he tell you about the murder? Yeah, sweet, you gotta let this go. You can't, anything you hold back is not gonna look good. You've got to just tell him. It hurts, it's scary, I understand that, but not talking is worse for you than talking. It was, he did never- he describe how, what? He never physically said, like, what he did or if anything was done. Did he say he shot him? Well, I'm, I'm guessing he had a gun, so. Don't guess. Did he tell you that he shot him? Yes. He said he shot him. Mm -hmm. And with that, the detectives managed to use Amelia's tactics against her and got her to confess to her own husband's crime. The detectives all be snitch. My man. So stuck to their she word it. and after confirming she had nothing she to do with the murders, dropped the charges again. Wow. So she's just getting the fraud charge. I mean that was a, that was the smartest that was the smartest that was the smartest idea, bro. Against her. Shit. She was, however, still charged with the theft and sentenced to three years in prison. I'm telling you that she's still gonna get prison time. She's still she's still not gonna see her son, but at least she ain't get hit the, the murder charge. She's a terrible liar, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Josh, however, was found guilty of the first degree murders Damn. of Cindy and Sean Stack and was sentenced to life behind bars. Damn, chat. That was a good that was a good video. Even though we got distracted in the middle, that was a good video. I'm plugs you you can touch that though. I'm not touching those. But like that was a good video though, you know what I'm saying? Um